I'm trying to think of phrases that don't make sense. Because I hear them all the time. Okay. So I'm like, uh, what is your hair even? What does that mean? And like, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't think anyone says this. Is I like the up. That does not make no sense. <laughs> That's another one. Because it's... That does not make no sense. Which means to you, it actually does make sense. <laughs> but everyone just thinks that it means that it doesn't make sense. But that's not what you said. <laughs> Or like, how is he even? Like, are you talking about, um, why, why is he symmetrical in his face? Or like, why is he balanced? Or are you talking about, why is he doing that? <laughs> Usually it's the latter. The latter means the later. The later. That's referring to the next part of the sentence. Or the next subject you presented. Um, we were just... And then you stop. What? Oh, and then using thing to describe everything. Because you're stuck on the word everything. But you want to ma make it different. So you take off the first part and just say thing. So it's like, can you hand me that thing over, over there? I was like, um, I am now a spaceship orbited into space, becoming a frozen ice cube and just spiraling into the abyss now. I don't know where I am. Or what you want me to do. And then they get mad about it. <laughs> and then they don't get... They get mad when you don't find it. <laughs> and you never agreed to get it. <laughs> what is another one? I guess maybe what it is said. Because <laughs> you didn't specify what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know what's really mean? Okay. So, um. Something I could see myself doing that's really mean. Is. Talking about. A passionate subject that I'm passionate about <laughs> and using you to, like putting it off on the other person when you're talking about it but then at the end you switch it around and say well you actually means me because I do that. I I pretend to be the other person. And for some reason, I'm, I have to be aware of that when I'm talking about it. In the middle of talking about it. 
So I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I like that to somebody else. And they're like, wait, wait. You don't know me. <laughs> and then I switch around and I'll say, oh, wait, no, that, that was about me. <laughs> it's just kind of mean. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to understand how the Spanish language learn works. They say things backwards is how it was described to me. Um, but what they, what that actually means is they say um, it in a different order than English speakers are used to saying things. English speakers will say, we're going to the mall today. And then a Spanish speaker, or even with other languages, they'll say, um, the mall we go today. Or they'll put them in a different order. Say. Like the mall today we go. It still means the same thing, but sometimes it doesn't. It's interesting. I think it, it has to do with um, what's important to them to know first. And if actually it's not what's important to know first... Maybe it's just getting stuff out of the way that you don't necessarily care about and then you get to the end. And that's what you remember. Because you do remember things at the end of the sentence and not necessarily everything else they were talking about. I don't know. Grammar is important, okay? Grammar is important. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. I never went to school. I never did a grammar book, but it's important, okay? It's important.